the road to the Kentucky Derby has been like a roller coaster ride. Joe Christofek for America's Best Racing with the Triple Crown Rundown. And before I reveal my top 10 boys, it's ladies first. I'd like to congratulate the connections of Paradise Woods and Miss Sky Warrior, both of whom were dominating winners this past weekend. In her first two-turn try, Paradise Woods crushed the Santa Anita Oaks, while Miss Sky Warrior's win in the Gazelle and Aqueduct looked more like a public workout than a race. Both Phillies stamped themselves as prime contenders for the Kentucky Oaks. Gormley may have won the Santa Anita Derby, but number 10 Battle of Midway may have run the most impressive race. Unexpectedly on the lead, he took pressure every step of the way and still held on for second. He's shown the ability to rate, and he's going to need to the first Saturday in May. Number nine is Hens. The Sunland Derby winner moves into the top 10, kind of by default. He showed finishing punch in his last race and has plenty of stamina on the damn side of the pedigree. He's back. Number eight is Classic Empire. The two-year-old champ's road to the Kentucky Derby has had more potholes than pavement, but he's shown some positive signs in recent works and will have the opportunity to make a splash again in Saturday's Arkansas Derby. Following an unexplained clunker in the Fountain of Youth, number seven Irish war cry bounced back with a big win over a battalion runner in cloud computing in the Wood Memorial will do most of his heavy lifting at Fair Hill before shipping to Churchill Downs the week of the Derby. What happened to number six Taprit? The impressive winner of the Tampa Bay Derby threw in an absolute clunker in the bluegrass, but the connections are confident he can bounce back in Louisville. And the A game he's displayed this spring is as good as any horse in this year's three-year-old crop. Number five is Gervin, risen star and Louisiana Derby winner is one of the most reliable horses on this list that will need to take another solid step forward in order to win the Kentucky Derby. Mike Smith takes the reins from Brian Hernandez, who remains committed to McCracken. Number four, Malagasy already has enough points to get into the Kentucky Derby, and the Rebel Stakes winner will return to Hot Springs on Saturday as one of the favorites in the Arkansas Derby. Some may have jumped off the bandwagon of number three, Gunavera, following his third place performance behind Always Dreaming in the Florida Derby. But an expected fast pace in the Kentucky Derby could set the table for his serious stretch kick. Number two, McCracken finished third as the Bluegrass favorite, but it was his first race since February, and he didn't have the cleanest of trips. Trainer Ian Wilkes is confident he'll take a big step forward when he runs for the Roses. Remaining at number one is the impressive Florida Derby winner, Always Dreaming, who is the only horse in this crop with two victories over nine furlongs, and he won both of those races by open lengths. His Kentucky Derby dream could become a reality. Coming up on Saturday, a critical prep for the Kentucky Derby. It's the Arkansas Derby at Oak Lawn. It looks like you're going to need at least 40 points to get into the Kentucky Derby starting gate. That would put Malagasy already there. Running fourth or better would probably get Untrapped and Classic Empire into the Kentucky Derby starting gate. Conquest Bow Money, Sonneteer, and Blue Ridge Traveler will need to run third or better in Hot Springs in order to qualify. Petroff, looking at Lee, Silver Dust, they'll need at least 40 points second or better in order to make it into the Kentucky Derby. The road to the Kentucky Derby has been a windy one. Who's your most likely winner? What potential long shots do you have your eye on? Join the conversation on Twitter by using the hashtag TripleCrown17.